Hello and welcome to becomingachef.co.uk. This is my short presentation on the coloured chopping board system used in the UK, the basics by Christopher Flatt. So which chopping boards do chefs use in the professional kitchen? Chefs will mainly be using the plastic chopping boards. These will be a coloured coded chopping board system, although there are other materials that can be used as chopping boards, including the wooden chopping boards, but these are more common in the home kitchen used by the home chef. So, the colour coded chopping boards. There are six main colours of the chopping boards. The colours relate to a specific food the chef will be working with, and this helps to prevent cross-contamination. It's advised to stick to the general, the main system used in the majority of kitchens in the UK. But however, this is not a legal requirement, but all places will need a chopping board system that they stick to. And everybody needs to be trained on that system. Many places use this general system, however, this is not a legal requirement. Attentive cleaning and a set chopping board system that all staff are trained on including the front of house staff is most important. The colour code of the chopping boards. So the red chopping board, this is for raw meat such as raw chicken or raw beef. The blue chopping board, this is used for raw fish. The white chopping board, this is mainly used for dairy. The yellow chopping board, this is used for your cooked meats, so you may have a cooked piece of chicken that you are slicing for a nice salad. The brown chopping board, this is used for vegetables, such as potatoes, carrots, more your root vegetables. The green chopping board, this is used more for salads and fruits, so if you're preparing a pineapple, you would use a green chopping board, or if you was cutting some chives, you would use a green chopping board. Potential chopping board hazards, I could say, a potential cross-contamination hazard is when an employee has been trained in a certain way of using the chopping boards and then he moves to a next place that is not following the general guide of the chopping board system. So an employee could be using the red chopping board for raw chicken, using the general chopping board system and then he moves to the next establishment where they are using the red chopping board for another product so you know this can cause a cross-contamination hazard with the confusion so some advice and tips on chopping boards always use the correct color chopping board for the product and make sure you are following the system that the place follows in most places this will be the general chopping board system so this may vary to the main colour coded chopping board system and there are also two main sizes of chopping boards. One is the larger size and then there's a half size chopping board. So how to use a chopping board safely. It's very important to use a chopping board safely. It needs to be securely placed on your work surface. A good way of doing this is by dampening some kitchen paper with some water, placing um, a piece of this rolled up in each corner of the chopping board and this will safely secure your chopping board to the surface. However, there are other ways of doing this, such as taking your kitchen cloth, dampening that and putting that underneath the board as well. A chopping board that is not safely secured will move around on the work surface and this has the potential to cause cuts to your hands and fingers when you're using the knife. And always dispose of the chopping board correctly. For instance, if you're using a red chopping board, for cutting and preparing raw chicken, you have your chopping board, instead of just putting it on a shelf where the kitchen porter comes to pick it up, take the board straight through to the kitchen porter, to the wash up and give it to him. This is a much more efficient, safer way of disposing of a dirty raw meat chopping board. So thank you very much for listening to my short presentation on becoming a chef, the colour coded chopping board system. This is the basics and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos coming very soon. Um, please give this video a thumbs up and thank you very much.